Suvarapu Hemasri. Hi, Hemasri. Good evening. Thank you for being part of the session. Now, we're going to be starting the session in the next few minutes because as we have announced 6 o'clock, everybody would be expected to be here by 6 o'clock. So we'll start by them. Anyway, happy to see a couple of you being quite early here. I feel it's a wonderful opportunity for me to be part of the session and to lead the session. Because since the beginning of my career, especially the professional career, where I groom youth to be professionals, getting a job is a satisfaction. But helping somebody to get a job and helping somebody to understand the gap between no job and getting a job and helping them to fill the gap and helping them to achieve a job is a wonderful experience for the life is what I believe. And we could, I could join my hands and we could join uh, Sinohub where Sinohub has come with the same passion to make sure careers are made and getting the career and landing the dream job is so easy for youth is strongly believed by career Sinohub. And we are extremely happy to join our hands with Tihab as well for recruitment drive that's happened recently and which is which are going to happen further as well. Hope we have a few more participants with that. Yes. Good evening, Abhishek. Thanks for warm greetings. Today, this is going to be a little away from the routine discussions, our routine motivational sessions, our routine you know, grooming sessions that we give you certain clues, we give you certain information so that you're going to get the job. It's going to be a little away from it. It's going to be actually interactive as well. You can also express your opinions and you can also ask your questions we are here to clear the questions we have two more minutes to kick start the session and then we're going to be taking it forward as scheduled and planned. Uh, for whoever have joined, actually today there was a drive going on. When I say drive, for a few specific uh, requirements, we have conducted a screening test already. If you're being part of this, uh, you know, Sino Hub's YouTube family, you'd be able to receive regular updates. So you can also take part of the specific drives that Sino Hub conducts for few specific organizations as for their requirements. Make sure you are joining the family of Sinohub's YouTube channel as well. Immediately you can subscribe. So that's how you keep getting the immediate updates and regular updates frequently. That's going to be helpful for you for sure. Uh, Samba, good evening. How are you doing? I'm really great. Thank you for asking. And now, let's begin the session. It's really right time for us to kickstart the session. Before we begin the session, a couple of you might know me 
uh, uh, through Sinohub, but a couple of you might, might not know me. Let me introduce myself. I am Bhargav. I head placement wing with Sinohub. Sinohub is an edutech platform where we help a lot of engineering students with their regular curricula. As far as I know, and I'm from that, we are the only platform that helps engineering students with their regular curriculum in terms of their question papers, in terms of their regular updates, and also with lecture notes and lecture videos in specific. And we have got a two lakh family. All, all of them are engineers. It's a proud moment to tell each time when I say we have a family of two lakh engineers. It gives me immense pleasure actually. Besides that, we at Sinohub also help youth who especially aspire for engineering career. In a little more specific software career, we help that youth in realizing their software career dreams in terms of helping them with the training and also to help them to connect with the industry needs. Today, we are primarily going to talk about how to land your first job. When I say your first job, it's don't consider that the very first job right after your graduation are post-graduation. There are people who pursue some career to an extent unwillingly uh, as they have no opportunity in the career they actually want to start. They have no skills and expertise to get the dream job that they actually want. We help the freshers who want to land their dream job. Besides that, we also help the professionals who actually switch from one career to another career through this session. As I said, this session is going to be interactive. Be ready. And as you know that, as I have spoken a while ago, we at Sinohub help youth and professionals getting in jobs when you want to switch from one career to software's career especially. We are the right choice for you. And training you, helping you with the skill set that is required to land a software career and expertise and career guidance. We help you with the best career guidance that is possible. We have onboard professional certified career counselors, including me. And let me tell you, we are not career counselors just who follow the documents, who just give you a psychometric test and understand based on your written skills, uh, based on your verbal skills. We listen to you more in terms of your dreams, your aspirations, your passion, your needs especially, your family's needs. Based on that, we are going to help you with career choices. And I would begin the actual session with a question. What is easy? To get a job or to sustain in the job successfully? What is easy, you think? To get a job or to sustain in the particular job? I leave it open a minute for you to answer for these questions. I would repeat the question. What is easy, you think, to get a job or to sustain in the job that you have acquired? All right, there are a lot of responses, I guess. And let me tell you, majority of the participants 
would say sustaining in a job is easy. A getting a job is easy. Let me clear the doubt and the question on the top of your mind that I raised here, which is easy. Actually speaking, getting a job is very easy. Yes. Getting a job is very easy. But sustaining the job successfully is the one which involves a lot of effort and patience. Yeah. Why? I'd like to tell you a small story. I know a young guy who have who has completed his graduation by 19. Right after his graduation, not right after, in fact, during, before his examinations itself, has given different tests to get his first job. It happened way back in 2010. Not now. It happened way back in 2010. By the time he completed his graduation and before he gets the results even, he has got three offer letters in his hand. And he went up to his lecturers, asked for a suggestion, which job to choose. The lecturers also suggested the good one in a bigger company. Take it up, they said. He took the job. He enjoyed the training period. He hit the floor. He acquired an assistant manager position. He's actually skilled to an extent. He acquired an assistant manager's position. And for once he started working into the job, he never enjoyed the job. Because it's more a desk job. He deals with computers more, not with people more. But this guy wants to deal with people more, not with the computers more. He started his career with 23,000 salary. And once he has got confirmation after six months, he started earning 27,800 rupee every month, way back in 2010. You know what happened? He resigned for the job in 2011. He took up a new job. And he started that new job with 15,000. Yes, you heard it correct. He stopped working in a job which pays him 27,800 rupee every month. And he took up a job which pays him only 15,000 a month. You might feel so surprised and you might also ask a question instantly, is he a fool or what? Is his brain filled with dung? Is it all clay in his head, not the brain? All the questions people around him also have got. He had to answer hundreds. And he, wait, he worked for that 15,000 salary for one full year. And then, when he was giving interview for the next job, which he likes the most, then the interviewer, during the final round, told him, you committed a career suicide by resigning for a job which was paying you 27,800 and took up a job for, for 15,000. And you are giving an interview for a job to get 25,000 in hand. And the guy answered, more than money, my passion was killed for all the one year that I worked there. I never wanted to interact and work with computers and wooden tables, but I want to work with people. I want to engage people. I want to be engaged with people. I want to be a live wire. I want to utilize my energy. I want to utilize my knowledge that I acquire. And I want to spread it across. Is what's the answer given by that guy. And he's quite successful, even now. 
you know what happened in that guy's life he almost has wasted two years consistently and then he picked a career that suits him better and you know couple of his colleagues i mean couple of his college mates are earning far better than him now but he still feels very happy by switching his job it's a revolutionary step that guy has taken way back in 2010 2011 and 12 but i would like to tell you if you are not actually enjoying your job thoroughly if you are actually not earning that makes you meet the needs of your family and your actual wills and wishes i would suggest you better switch how easy it is you to tell switch bargain but how can i do that don't worry we are there we can help you better remember switching is not a crime switching is not a mistake if you don't switch now count each second that you are investing in the wrong place count each calorie that you are burning at a wrong place for a wrong purpose and also count each second that you are delaying to be in the right place and to be the right job that you dreamt of from the beginning and you dreamt it from the childhood or you have got awareness all of a sudden in between doesn't matter you like it you want it you feel you deserve that career take it up i would call that also as the very first job for you in the story that i told the 21 years guy when he took up the actual job that he likes and loves doing with only 25000 salary leaving 27800 job 2 years ago he considered that as the first job for him and if you look into his resume also he mentions that job as the very first job in his career he doesn't talk about rest of the 2 years that has gone into null to know more this kind of case studies you can always ping me you can always write on our youtube channel i have a lot of testimonials and anything that i present to you is nothing fake i vouch for it remember and the story you have heard of is my own story i can people call me committed suicide career suicide but i felt i took a rebirth in my career what i love doing i'm doing now and i'm absolutely successful being in this technical edutech platform helping a lot of young professionals is what i actually want to do that's what i'm doing right now remember there are a lot of examples right in front of you you can also create another example for a lot of people be ready for it so now i wanted to tell you all this lengthy story just to tell you not only a graduate should consider this as a first job even a person who is trying to switch from another career to the career that he or she dreams of should also be considering that as the first job that valuable that job that you are going to get again be ready to have that experience and to tell very clearly getting a job is very easy because you have a lot of mentors around you you have a lot of people who can help you to create your wonderful resume you have a lot of people like us to connect you to the industry needs but you just need to search and to approach the right people and you have we, you you have us to train you technically also so it's going to be very easy but if you want to sustain in the same job there are lot of hurdles if you are not trained enough if you are not given with the right guidance so taking right guidance taking right training right amount of training and getting into the career will help you to sustain further remember that please i am here with another question for you you have three rooms room a room b room c if you are to take if you are enter to any one of these rooms which room would you enter 
if you are to enter any one of these three rooms, which room would you enter? Room A, room B or room C? Which one would you enter? You can respond in the chart. Room A, couple of them said. Room C, couple of couple of them said. Room C, a few people said. Others also can respond. Room C is said. You have three rooms. Which room do you want to enter? Into. Room A, room C, yeah. Room A, room C has a lot of demand. Room C, good, plenty. Uh, somebody says room B, uh, an odd one out. Kiran, why do you think you want to enter room B? Would you be able to specify, just write a short message in the chat. Why do you want to enter room B? Somebody said room B. Rakesh, room C. Everybody who ever said the room, decided room, can you please specify a simple reason why do you want to be into that room? Just a short message. Maybe I like the color, <laughs> the, you know, any reason for that matter. I like the people sitting there. Whatever the reason you, you have, you can mention it. Why do you want to enter that particular room, whichever the room that you have decided? Naresh says, in room C, we have a lot of people. We can get more connections. Good perception. Rockstar says, to make sure I am capable of speech. Which room you enter, Rockstar? Room A. Room A, I'm capable enough of speech. Okay, good. Neha, room C. Why do you think you're going to room C, Neha? Just mention that in a short message. And we have Rakesh. Room C looks like a conference presentation. So it's obvious. Spend time there. Wow. Professional thoughts. Mahmud Sardar says, we can come across many mindsets uh, people with different mindset is what sada says good room c okay prasanna says room c prasanna says another prasanna prasanna veni and prasanna k says room c all right it's time for me to tell you which room and why for every room i have a different case study to share with you i have an uncle who lives in Kuwait, he has got his permanent visa there, all his family got settled there. He is an electrical engineer. I think he went to Kuwait uh, when I was hardly 6-7 years old, not older than that. Like He had to take support from a lot of family members and he really worked hard, he studied hard and he has got an opportunity there and he moved in there. And after he moved in there, he helped a lot of other people. Whoever studied in electrical, electrical department, AAA department, he helped all the family members, all the villagers and nearby known people. Uh, he has helped a lot of people to get in the job. From that, a lot of my cousins took inspiration. And all my cousins who are two years older than me, two years younger than me, as old as I am, everybody... Sub, you know, they have subscribed into Triple E course. They have completed the Triple E with wonderful scores, 7 and above, course, 70% and above scores. But what happened, you know? By the time all my cousins completed their courses, there is no room for Triple E guys in the industry. The industry got sufficed with the number of graduates came out before itself. Not even my uncle, even in India, nowhere, they could not find jobs, electrical engineers actually. 
I know few people who walked into field sales to sell electrical bulbs, heaters, sort of other electrical goods actually to make sure they are feeding their families after pursuing their four years of electrical and electronics engineering. What they have done, you know, they have looked into a room which is with a lot of people and they clearly could get the picture, wow, this room accommodated a lot of people, which means this room has got a lot of demand. But they didn't understand, they cannot extend the four walls. So there is no more room for new people coming in and knocking at the door. If you chose room C, where are you going to step in? There is no space there. Possessions are really good. Like you can come across different mindsets, you can have a lot of connections, you can have meet different people, there is possibility for a lot of things. But where is the space? Where can you stand? Where can you sit? How can you connect with others? How can you even understand? That's a different mindset. Where there is no space for you. That's how the careers also. Trust me. Don't choose a career that cannot accommodate you even in future. If only that career can accommodate you even in future. It has no break in between. It has no cease in its growth. It has no limitation in its development. Choose that industry. Again, every industry has got openings. But are they paying that enough for you? Are they paying which is equivalent to your college fee every month? I would ask you to choose some job that pays you Three times, four times, ten times more than your college fee. Remember that. Core departments has got a lot of value. If you work hard, if you are one among those right guys, get the job quick and go for a better career, you can get. Okay. And let's talk about room B, room A. It's like, see, there are only very few people. There are a lot of empty chairs. Why do you think? Because they made the room for you? May kept the vacant seats for us? No. People did not find it interesting. That movie is not really interesting. It's not engaging people. It's not actually meeting the wavelengths of the people. That's why a lot of people did not walk in. Now, why do you walk into the same room? Where it is left over, let it be left over. For some reasons, it is left empty. Let it be empty. You don't want to become empty in your career, right? You want to be a fulfilled guy in your career. Thus, not to choose the empty room. I know you might say, Bhargav, it's very easy to find space in the empty room, Bhargav. It's very easy. Like If, 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 if I want to occupy two seats, I can occupy Bhargav. Why are you stopping me? What do you do occupying the two chairs? You are not filling your pockets. There is no point there. Right? Understand that particular thing. Let's talk about room B. The room is filled, yet there are few chairs. There is going to be competition to occupy these chairs. There are going to be people who are fighting like 3, 4, 5, maybe 10, 20 people fighting for the same chair therein. But that chair has got a lot of demand because it's career prospectiveness and it also ensures you are not going to look back once you enter and sit in that chair. Choose that kind of room. The same way, choose a career which is not going to be limited with the space, not going to be limited in terms of the growth, not going to be limited in terms of learning not going to be limited in terms of earnings. Choose such career. I hope you understand. When you choose the career, make sure that's not that's going to be filled after a while. 
so no more vacancies are going to be there. No, evergreen. There should be vacancies always. Choose such career. Now, what happens when you choose a right career? When you choose a right room? As we talked about the different rooms, we also talk about the same. Now, what happens when you choose the right room? You want to go in that room, you chose, good, you chose the right room. You have an opportunity to understand what kind of culture is there in that room. When you already decided the room, when you're preparing yourself, you will have all these evidence, uh, all these additional information and advanced information with you so that you can cope yourself, so that you can groom yourself, so that you can make yourself more comfortable and fitting into that room. That's why when you chose the right room, you will have a chance to understand all these aspects about that room. The culture of the room means what kind of people are there and how do they talk, how do they behave, what kind of backgrounds they come from. Actually, who can walk into this room? In order to get into this room, whom should I be? Who should I be? You will be able to understand. And you understand the dress code, looking at that. Okay, if I want to, if I need to get into this room, my dress sense has to be this way. I have to get, when I talk about the dress sense, not the superficial term of the dress sense. It's like, how do I need to get ready? How I should present myself to people so that I'm going to be accepted and I'm going to be considered a part of this particular crowd and cult that's there in this particular room. Yeah, and at the same time, you will also be able to understand cost of the ticket. Yeah, see, you know, you walk into a theater which you have never walked in, you haven't inquired about it, you haven't got any information, and you just dropped in, and they said the ticket for the for this particular room is two hundred rupees, and you have one hundred rupee in your pocket. Will you be able to enjoy watching that movie? Will you be able to get into that particular theater or the room? No, right? When you take a decision, when you chose it before, not right before entering the career, if you take a decision little in advance, so you'll be able to understand what preparation you need to be there. Like, you know, you have to learn a few things. Probably you need to invest into something or the other. You need certifications maybe. You need qualifications maybe. You need skill set maybe for that you need to invest and you need to get ready. You'll be able to understand, right? How much would I be need, need to ready? For example, a lot of people who go uh, go abroad, like they go to US, they go to UK, Australia, different other countries. There are certain guidelines set in, right? You need to, if you need to get your visa, if you need to travel, if you need to get entry into this country and to study this course, you must show this this kind of amount in your bank account. So they are mentally prepared, they are financially also prepared. Same time, when you are preparing for a career also, when you choose the right room, little in advance, when you choose the right career, little in advance, you would be able to ready with all these aspects equipped with you. Remember that. Now, let's also look into the next one. You will also be able to understand what is there in for you. If you all of a sudden enter in a room, it's going to be confusing for you, right? Where to go, where to sit. When you walk in a new place, it's always confusing. Where do I buy water? Where can I have water? Where can I have cool drink? Oh, where's my favorite popcorn? All these things are going to be question marks for you. But if you decide it in advance with the help of guidance, it's going to be easy for you to understand when I walk in here, these are the things. And from this particular career, I get this. When I say this, I get this, ki this kind of knowledge, utilizing this knowledge where I can land in the future. How I grow in the career. As a beginner, I join into an associated role. 
are an intern role and after two years I'm going for two years I'm going to learn XYZ knowledge or XYZ amount of knowledge and utilizing that I'm going to elevate myself into the next position called an associate or an assistant manager or a serial role and after two years with the help of this experience this learning I'm going to get into the next role you should be able to identify what are you going to get what are you going to gain out of it what is there for you you should be able to understand so it's going to be helpful for you if not it's going to be very confusing for you because understand why a lot of people struggle to answer one simple question in the HR interviews where do you want to see yourself down the line five years 80% of the youth that is getting ready for the interview read this answer from some book or watch some video on the YouTube channel learn the answer by rot go expel with the HR so they're not convinced because you are somebody who speaks like that cannot relate to the reality they just practice some answer and go if you already chose it if you have taken the guidance if you have started improving yourself and making yourself more relevant for that particular job you'll be able to answer all these questions so authentically with a lot of authenticity answering questions with authenticity gives you an assured job and you also understand what do you get when i say what do you get let's talk completely talk about remuneration once you complete learning once you join the core once you join the job you may be able to earn this much after one year you will be able to earn this much after three years you will be able to earn this much by the time of your retirement you are going to have this much amount with you and you can have you can make these kind of properties and everything that's very clear if you take the decision with informed information and guidance remember that and how to prepare daily seven somebody was uh, saying i asked recently we have uh, can organized a recruitment drive on 14th of this month we have had a huge recruitment drive where 1800 students have walked in for the interviews on one single day as the first class first bunch of students 1800 students have walked in one single day for the interviews and when we ask them how do you prepare how did you prepare for this interview how are you preparing for your career so i'm studying for 12 hours a day i'm studying for 8 hours a day i'm studying for 13 hours a day which i clearly understand you don't like it you are not doing it by passion with love you are pushing and forcing yourself to get ready how to prepare has got a very a uh, systematic approach when you ask me i would tell you 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 know how much of time you are investing in collecting the information how much of time you are investing on collecting about the job openings how are you walking towards how are you walking towards getting more information on becoming more skilled what kind of updates you are getting how are you working on updating yourself what things you have recently updated into your profile there is a very systematic approach that you need to understand how to get ready if you chose the right career through the help of proper guidance you would be able to prepare yourself so well because what happens i have come across a lot of youth asking me a question so it's been two years i've been trying i'm not getting the job you're not trying you're trying your luck luck doesn't get you job preparation gets you job remember that when you are trying and trying and trying you're not getting you took some wrong decision ah you took the recession in a wrong way you took the decision in a wrong way also is possible so it's better take an informed decision and that too it has to be through the proper guidance and proper information remember that 
and how do you carry yourself you know recently when we have interviewed a couple of mnc's and startups we asked them a straight question why do you hire people from iits mits and iims why are you not hiring from we have a lot of prestigious colleges in hyderabad in and around hyderabad varangal is an educational hub karimnagar is an educational hub sangareddy is a small educational hub we have hyderabad we have anantapur tirupati nellur chittor vijayawada guntur all these places but why why are you specifically going to iits and nits getting somebody from another state why not our people why not our youth then they simply said there is a lot of cultural mismatch there is a lot of culture misfit people who are not exposed to the professional atmosphere they are unable to be professional in the organization for a long time by the time the entire health of the culture organization culture is going wrong it is driven in a wrong direction is clearly said yeah i got convinced by that because i experienced the cultural misfit uh, out of my experience i experienced i have that experience of meeting cultural fit uh, misfit guys the way they behave the way they move with the colleagues the way they move with the opposite gender the way they move with the subordinator these are all going to be very important and crucial Im- impactful decisions for the organization organization wants people who can carry themselves so well so professional it can happen but a uh, right guidance i would say again people who have got that experience of walking in and walking out of this corporates can help you better it's very important uh, don't take me differently like why bhargav is talking about very micro things yeah how you stand how you greet how you shake hand of another person also matters as a culture especially in the interview if you cannot impress with these things definitely this that's going to backfire remember and uh panta says uh but most of my friends got job by luck panta i'll tell you this i'm so sorry to refer you panta i don't know your name that's why i had to go with that please don't mind uh dear if they have the jobs by luck trust me they must be going through hell now they must be going through hell for a long time in the job because somebody who gets a job an opportunity by luck they would not be able to perform inside the organization for sure i'm not cursing anybody who gets the job by luck but i know a lot of people who are working hard but they without they getting a job people who did not work hard by luck if they get i actually don't believe they have got in by luck there are reasons people think somebody else got a job by luck because the right moment right time the right you is very important when the right moment comes there are people who raise and perform only for that right moment they don't perform any other time they only perform at the right time remember when I, when we got 10th standard results there's going to be a surprise i i wrote my 10th standard way back in 2004 5 2004 batch i belong to when i wrote every year there's a surprise somebody all of a sudden pops up into 500 plus score some girl who is never expected she always used to miss the classes she doesn't even have 50% of the attendance but she scored 550 plus all of a sudden everybody open we you know we dropped our jaw all of a sudden but she performed at the right moment in the exams who knows each day that she did not turn up to the class if she is holding a book and reading at home we don't know right that's why i really would not believe uh, completely luck can get you a job which i don't believe because i never hired somebody just because of their luck no, nobody in sino hobby is hired just because of the luck none of my students have got the jobs by luck 
they worked hard and they got the jobs that's a they perform some some people perform for the right moment some people perform all through their career what happens people who perform all through their career sometimes feel bad for uh, looking at people who only perform for the moment but that's their skill let us consider that's their knack we see if we don't like it let us don't learn it but let's also not blame them because they have that technique and they're using it and they're succeeding it's fine but we are recognized we are also going to be recognized we have our own time let's not worry for them worry about it and whom to meet the last one when you choose the right career you will also be able to understand what kind of people you are going to meet in the career what kind of behaviors they would have because when people expect this set of behavior we want this kind of dress styles we want people who can speak this way we want people who have got this specific skill set we want people who have come from this background we want people who have learned this course we want people who have got these kind of certifications we want by understanding all the specifications by listening to all the specifications that are set for you you would be able to make picture of another candidate that you are going to meet somebody similar to you you are going to meet so accept your food choices your personal opinions at work at a professional phase all of you are going to be on the same plane how comfortable it's going to be to walk with people with the same professional behavior so uh rindo says they can be learned personally it does not depend on the institution that we study in yeah i do agree but organizations who are hiring are not with that agreement actually that's why you know you if you walk into sino hub if you talk to sino hub team we are of different disciplines people from different states we work together from different backgrounds we work together we work in you know diversity and inclusivity but organizations would not every organization would not be able to you know adventure with that we believe in that inclusivity but every organization we cannot force them to believe in that inclusivity but what we need to do is let us make ourselves meeting their expectations no is it very difficult for us no i know people who studied bcom and become uh, software engineers one of my students ramu is working as a software trainer in one of the branches in warangal he is a bsc student bsc life science student not bsc computer student he came from a small village close to sirisilla in karimnagar district by then karimnagar this now i don't know which district i think rajana sirisilla district he came from there he is working as a software trainer now right now with a very good package it it see it's all in you you decide you work on and anyway we are there to help you it's not like oh, you might ask me oh bargo where do you want me to go and jump to learn all these things no you're not going to be alone we are there with you we are going to help you to groom yourself and to get in that particular just getting yourself into that particular profile and to clear the interview and get the job we are there to connect you for all of it be ready for it see as you said uh, you know organization or the college that we studied doesn't depend on because every college has got its toppers every college has got its bank benches who became different uh, you know higher professionals in the career we cannot decide it but organizations have got set of rules and regulations right that they cannot go as a human as we go but we can prepare ourselves and we can show them yes i fit in for your organization better than your expectations that's how so far we have talked about we asked a question like people who have joined little late we have a, i have asked a question to a lot of the participants that there were before in the session which room do you want to join in room a or room b or room c a lot of them chose room a and room c but not room b people chose room people who chose room c they chose because it's with full of crowd which means there is something amazing going on or i can meet a lot of people i can meet different mindsets i can meet and learn different things as the expectation but the fact is there is no room for you 
there is no space for you never choose a career it has got limited opportunity for you once few people join their career the career is sustained like that you don't get an opportunity don't prepare yourself for that kind of career prepare for a career which has got demand which has got a lot of people already but still there is opening for you like look at rooms a room a has got a lot of place very few people are there i think it is not interesting what's going on in that particular career is not interesting or uh, it's actually not giving promising career to a lot of people that's why people are not joining there is what my personal belief and that's fact to an extent i would say okay and room b if you see there are a lot of people everybody is engaged everybody is enjoying yet there is little space there and here which means this career is flourishing at the same time it has it also has got competition if you chose the right career like this you will be able to understand different aspects about that particular career you will be able to understand the culture of that career i mean culture in the sense what kind of mindsets would be there what kind of organizations should be there what kind of people are hired how i need to get ready how i need to present myself you'll be able to understand all of it you'll be able to fit in to that okay you will not have a cultural shock because you already have a take you already have chosen intentionally and dress code i am not saying dress code as superficial dress just go in that color dress this color dress formal casual semi formals it's not the point there the point is how you present yourself as a best person you would be able to understand so you can prepare yourself with the help of right guidance and right uh, grooming with that at the same time cost of the ticket means for making every career there's going to be some kind of investment that is required it is known because in order to get our degree also we have to invest something which is actually free available but we also have to invest something right that's how in order to make the career if you take a right decision you you can be mentally prepared financially prepared also skill wise also you can be prepared you'll be able to understand how much to invest how much we can save uh, you know after, uh, like somebody there are people who are who want to switch from career to another career i have few students who are actually working as non technical people and they are actually aspiring to be technical uh, in software engineers uh, they they are they actually worked for 6 months one year they saved some amount of money they have come joined the course now they are undergoing the course that take doing a part time job where they can earn 10 to 15000 rupees every month but at the same time they are also learning the course paying that 4 to 5 hours every day sincerely working on the projects attending the classes live sessions self learning modules it's a hect- of course it's hectic but thoroughly the people are enjoying it we could see it the way they interact they ask questions they get they get the clarifications we could clearly see that that's a you would be able to understand if you are already working in a job when to leave the job when not to leave the job how much you have to save and then you can leave the job all these clarifications should be there yesterday day before yesterday no yesterday evening one student was talking to me and she was asking me i am about to get a job sir shall i uh, leave the, shall i leave that offer and join i said no don't do that work extra i mean work during day keep earning that money so you can pay your own fee you don't need to ask from your parents at the same time you will be a professional working and you will be able to understand what the professional atmosphere and everything and your brain is not empty you are not empty you are occupied at the same time you keep learning and i inquired about how long is your notice period good very short notice period good ma no issues you can join and once you get an offer we arrange placement interviews once you get a placement interview clearly discuss about your notice period serve the notice period in the current working organization and then leave the job don't just leave away the job is what clearly told now see she took a decision she approached she openly discussed so you got the right decision to do what that's how you need you would be able to understand what to do what not to do what is there for you to learn how better you can become in the career 
you will also understand what you get like what kind of salaries you can get what kind of career opportunities what kind of career growth you can get and how to prepare yourself you'll also be able to understand how to carry you as a professional and a personal and what kind of people you're gonna meet and what kind of people you're gonna work with you'll be able to understand very clearly besides that what you need to do is see we are at almost to the core point of today's discussion that's how to land your dream job in order to land your dream job, these are the requirements that you need. Your resume. Okay, you might ask me, Bhargav, I already have got a resume. How many resumes should I have? Every day you need a new resume. Okay, trust me, today there was a recruitment drive uh, test we have conducted. We have conducted a recruitment drive test. I think it, con it was concluded sometime by 5.30. Our technical mentor completed the test uh, somewhere around a uh, lot of people have applied for it actually uh, that's a software opening actually three months internship paid internship three months paid internship and then they are going to interview you they are going to decide the salary and then you continue to work after one year hike every year they have hikes actually okay Th that job they have applied for that's a Bangalore based company but for Hyderabad location they have hired when these people have before they were applying for this job, I definitely look into their resume. My placement team definitely look, look, looks into their resume. For almost 20, 23 people, we have asked to change their resume and come back. Because the recruitment is for React, React development. And the first, the, what, what the skill set is talking more about is HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Somewhere in between, the React has come. So it is at the bottom. And the projects that, the, that you display in your resume is where very vague projects which are related to back-end, front-end, there and here it is placed. Now, somebody is there to look in your React performance, React technical skills to hire you. So you give them everything that you have is not the right decision. Pick everything that is related to React, put them together, give it to the interviewer so you get better chance. They immediately, every resume is now highlighting React. So they understand how good you are at React. So your opening is going to be very quick. They have multiple openings, not one other thing. Uh, showcase the, re yeah, Rakesh, absolutely. Showcase the React first. React, one more thing, just let me tell you. When you showcase the React, show, don't tell it by words, I am very good at React. I, you know, excellent, uh, guru, excellent at react no you don't need to praise yourself you talk the work that you could do with that you could do with react let me repeat you talk the work that you can do with react or showcase the work that you have done with react enough you are going to be done you will easily get it uh, prasanna wrote a message for us let's read in HR round, there are they are saying the person who applied is uh, culture unfit. How to understand the culture of company with four rounds? Uh, Prasanna, I have to tell you this. Everybody, not Pras Prasanna, thank you for this question, Ma. It's really useful. It's very easy to understand the company's culture. Okay. Actually, this is to be revealed only for my students. But anyway, you are all there here. Okay, and you get more and more these kind of sessions and this kind of updates if you join the family of Sinohub, immediately subscribe here. So you now every now and then you keep having the sessions about core information. Now let's get to the point. How to understand the culture just within one, two rounds or three, four rounds, uh, Bhargav is what Prasna asks. It is very simple. Without even giving a single round, you can get it. I'll tell you. Uh, one of my students, Pranit, I remember his name, Pranit. Pranit, uh, when he was giving uh, an interview, uh, he was actually by then practicing with JavaScript, HTML, React. He was a front-end developer, full-fledged front-end developer. But the company asked me to schedule anybody with technical skills, a graduate. But uh, we will learn, we will teach them about AI later. 
automation and AI later. But he has to be good with whatever he has learned is what they said. We arranged. One best answer that pra Praneet has given to prove that he is culturally fit is, he went to company's website. He went to company's website. He read the company's vision, company's mission. He also read about the different reviews that are written in Glassdoor on LinkedIn. He also observed what kind of vacations, what kind of events are done, what kind of skill programs are done, what kind of trainings and groomings are training the, done in the company. Besides that, he also got connected to a walking employee there through LinkedIn and he talked to him, he understood what is the culture of the organization. The very final question between uh, a girl from, a girl is very talented, more talented than Pranit, actually speaking. That Vaishnavi, uh, she is an MC and this is a B.Tech guy. Vaishnavi is really, really good technically. But this fellow, being a smart, this fellow could beat her and got the offer letter from that company. He simply said, why should I hire you? Then question is taken and answered so well. Sir, actually I have been following up, uh, following your company and I have read a lot of profiles of your current employees and ex-employees, their reviews also. And I have could uh, clearly echo with the, the vision of the organization that providing the best experience, best technical experience to the client of this particular company added with expertise, skills of the team members and passion of the team members. And I love the kind of trainings that are given and I appreciate the sick by, uh, you know, uh, once in a year, tw twice in a year, you conduct regular assessments and give feedback to the candidate, the employees and help them to improve their skills and groom them regularly, the kind of cultural events that are done. This is where I actually want to be, sir. Uh, that is the reason. And when I feel it's my own home, I would definitely enjoy. Initially, uh, during my learning, I would definitely enjoy being here more than at home because it's my next home. I feel very comfortably. I could connect with the vision and mission of the organization so well. What else they want beyond the culture fit? It's very easy. You have to read about them. If you read about them, it's very easy to understand. Read the vision, mission, and what people talk about that company in the websites, I mean, in the social media platforms. Observe what kind of people are working there on LinkedIn. Uh, possibly connect to any working employee with them and get to know more. That's enough. See, understanding the culture would not be a very difficult thing, Prasanna. If you need any uh, further information on it, or any of you need any question related to how to meet the expectations, how to get on the skills. We are always there. See, I tell you one thing. Uh, in the beginning of the webinar, I said it. Getting a job, working in your successful career is only satisfaction. But you help somebody to get a job, you groom them to get a job and see that joy in his, her eyes and their family's eyes is immense pleasure. Sinohub thrives for that immense professional pleasure, making careers, giving careers, and looking that looking into that light in the eyes of the people. Actually, that's what we are here for. So you can write to us on our YouTube channel. I know there is uh, in the last slide there is email mentioned. You can write to our email also. So definitely we are going to help you out with that. Uh, Haitani mentioned uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and other front-end related things are also related to React, right? Uh, yeah, see, React, I would tell it's a mixture of HTML, CSS, JavaScript all together, actually speaking. Okay. And actually, it is a bit advanced and that's a very good, uh, right now, a uh, uh, lot of recruitment is happening with React. If you go find Re React jobs in Hyderabad, React JS developer, React native developers jobs in Hyderabad. You get a lot of results all of a sudden on Google. Okay, that's quite famous now. Rakesh uh, says, okay, there is a conversation between Rakesh and uh, them. Okay, 100%. Yeah, yes, it's a new. So, 
so people who already know oh yeah rakesh you are getting technical uh, really technical but uh, see she is seeking for information dear like uh, see a lot of people now let me tell you in hyderabad as far as i know if you take 100 people 100 software engineers 60 out of them are not actually software engineers they study different other career different other courses and they passionately became and wantedly deliberately they became software engineers in the beginning everybody has got a lot of questions see uh, there there are people who just begin the career they don't even know the full form of html actually speaking but yet people like us are there to help you with the, all that information even rakesh now he rightly told somebody if no react js they know javascript html and everything that's a you get to know you people are there going confronting and giving you information consoling and giving you information something or the other way it is going to happen thank you Raj, rakesh for keeping her updated my friend was uh, passed out in 2019 he's decided to join in the company and how uh, Chandrasekhar, actually you can write to me on uh, placements at sinohub.com. Definitely I would be able to help you with that. I'm sure. Uh, Rohit, job only Hyderabad. Rohit, I know you belong to somewhere in Maharashtra. Uh, there are jobs in Pune and Thane nearby also. But our only primary concern is about uh, the interviews. Right now, they do not have the interviews. These people have interviews, those we scheduled. We are talking to an HR that we got connected in T-Hub Drive from Mumbai. Actually, she got we got a schedule, but we got, she got occupied. And in soon, we are going to have the interviews with them also. Be ready for that. Now, let's get back. See, to land the dream job that you want to, your resume has to be really, really strong enough. So, you are going to get a direct entry into the company is one thing. And... Besides that, your communication has to be really groomed and polished. Because in order to win the competition, you need to have at least one extra point, right? Communication can add that extra point. In software sector now, in the past, where, when I was a kid, when I was in 9th standard, 10th standard, when I just came to Hyderabad, a lot of my classmates made uh, software careers, right? They usually used to manage uh, the technical part and they used to take emails and everything from me. That was working by that. But nowadays it's not working that way. You need to be technically strong at the same time communications wise also you have to be strong. Communications is not a rocket science. If you can communicate well in your mother tongue, sit on my head. That is my responsibility to help you with English communication. You can, let me tell you, you can communicate in your mother tongue. Sit on our head. So that's you will be Sinohub babies to make sure you will have better communication but you have to listen to us you have to join your hands and work sincerely I don't we don't ask you to work without sleep no enjoy the day enjoy the night enjoy with the learning is what we firmly say remember that and you need a clear guidance See, I tell you one best example of guidance, misguidance and clear guidance. A student who studied her diploma in agricultural engineering once approached me asking, Anna, uh, I spoke to my father, I got 2 lakh rupee ready. I want to join data science course. In 6 months, I want to get a job. Some cousin of her told her, data science is quite famous. Go, become a data scientist. Two lakh rupee, you get ready. I don't know with what intention he told that to get ready two lakh rupee or something. She got ready and she approached me. She knows that I work for a technical edutech platform. So she approached me. I had to counsel her saying, better you join a different course which actually suits you initially because a long jump all of a sudden, let us be realistic. At her age, she being 19 years, she needs another year to become professional. So you start with one basic course, also join your graduation and then you get a job with front-end technologies that you have learned. 
slowly you groom yourself and get into technical world first understand with the help of this understanding you get ready yourself for a data scientist but not all of a sudden being 19 years after your agricultural diploma straight away jump into data science is not realistic clearly told see what you got initial guidance go get 2 lakh rupee you become a data scientist it's not magic you pay the money to somebody you become something it's not magic that doesn't happen that way money cannot make everything a proper guidance proper preparation technical skills technical grooming technical support these are the things make a career software career not money alone remember that please and 2 lakh is unrealistic money somebody wants to become a i know uh, millionaire all of a sudden grabbing money from this kind of people a lot that doesn't work in the industry remember and you also need to be flexible in terms of learning unlearning and relearning that you need to be open with that not only that flexible in terms of going with the market trends also see uh, a mutual funds advertisement it always says with a faster tone uh, what is that recurring deposit mutual funds always uh, you know it depends on the market uh, fluctuations that's so industry sometimes keeps moving back and forth by that you need to be flexibly ready like at this time i'll start something something else. i'll first enter and then i am going to take leaps and jumps and i am going to uh, climb the mountain then you can do but not just don't be so rigid and reluctant like no i just straight away want to land on everest no you can also start from the foot of the everest no problem but start a stronger journey once you start no coming back no falling back straight away you're going there it might take few months or some time but you are straight away there that's how you need to be no give ups once you start once you invested some money you have to get out of it that's all you have to get the best out of it no give ups please okay remember that if you want to give up talk to somebody talk to us if you want to give up talk to us come with valid reasons so if we seriously suggest you to give up then you can give up because we have seen everything that's possible in the career out of my 13 years of experience in the industry i have seen everything that's possible okay i have got connections with everybody who do not have job for 10 years who without taking a job but they are technical experts they are making money people never took a job they started their own business there are plethora of different different experiences and profiles with us you just walk in and ask sino hub will tell you what to do but never give up never take a dog decision please and you also need to have a personality that matches for the technical industry you need to help yourself in grooming you need to when i talk about the personality i'm not talking about the physical personality i'm talking about your mental personality your behavior your attitude you always have to be a proactive energetic young irrespective of your age you have to be proactive energetic young youth talented technically informed so you are going to be ready for the job remember that that personality you need to develop never give up never give up attitude always learning attitude always keep yourself updating at atti- updating attitude because you learn something today that's never ends you have to learn something else when the next project comes you have to learn something else when the another project comes that's how you keep learning learning is going to remain consistent nothing else is going to remain consistent remember that please and technical skills we are there forget your technical is zero never think your technical is zero we prove how strong you can be technically come and consult us you will be able to understand that's very clearly and certifications yes a lot of jobs they need certifications that's only because not to just look in certificate and uh, trust you but when an institute an organization certifies you which means they are taking up the responsibility this guy is trained by me he or she can perform you don't worry that guarantee they want that anyway is going to be possible anybody you are taking help from you can definitely get it and your internships internships are very 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 important i would suggest take up the internships before your job so you would be able to understand how to be in the job in the internships it is not going to impact you very bad if something goes wrong so take up the internships one to internships during the course itself 
take one two internships technical internships and then go for a full time opportunity that's always better and as a, as we already thought of being ready to learn op learn unlearn and relearn let's say one thing in order to land your dream job if you fulfill if you just have these aspects with you to help you better done actually your resume always being ready to make it tailor made as per the job that you are applying for communication a better communication to express your work discuss your work ask the question give clarifications for the questions is more than enough social media always be active on social media especially the so professional social media platforms like linkedin github you can showcase your work your technical skills your expertise so people are going to approach you directly sometimes when you establish your social media links there people looking into it they can take a decision about your pro profile they don't interview too much they talk to you and they take you in that that magical power is there in this professional social media platforms remember that and you need proper guidance not misguidance a mistake you know taking chance of your need of the job and be flexible to stretch yourself beyond what is possible with you what you can work the maximum sometimes you have to stretch beyond yourself you have to actually extend your boundaries so you are going to reach what you deserve that you need to be ready with and your personality in terms of you being professional grooming yourself ready and meeting the organization's expectations and fitting into the culture as one of the family members of the organization is very important and technical skills without this no software job remember not just software job any job for that matter without tech when i say technical skills it's not only about computer you are somebody a teacher there are technical skills required for it you are a data entry operator there are technical aspects that are required for it talking about core technical skills are essential and you can take guidance and technical skills from the relevant departments and the certifications yes companies do look for the certification somebody to authenticate that you have learned and you can perform and you can give the best you can contribute to the organization to the best of your level so they rely on somebody who is certifying you actually and internships internships are better for you because you want to explore you want to adventure something adventure with the internships first so you understand better how to be how not to be what to be what not to be what to do what not to do everything you understand in the internship so nothing is going to backfire to you once you take up the full time opportunities these learnings are going to add a lot of value to you in fact and be open to learn and unlearn about anything that is mentioned so far and th these are the aspects we so far have discussed about how to land your dream job in order to land your dream job you need to first choose the right career path realistic career path once you take up your once you take up decision about your right career path it is going to help you to perform better in your pre preference and your journey of preparing yourself to get that particular job once your preparation is clear stronger and authentic you can get the opportunity quite comfortably but after your preparation also you need to be careful in terms of getting ready yourself for a job may it be resume may it be your personality may it be your flexibility may it be your technical skills your communications certifications internships all those things you need to be thorough with so definitely you would be hitting the right goal right target for sure remember that now do remember to follow us on linkedin instagram and youtube as you are here on our youtube page immediately subscribe that gives you regular updates at the same time more and more sessions to do this see for example these many points are discussed today there are 11 points that i put in to land your dream job about every aspect we can have detailed sessions to prepare your resume it looks very simple and i tell you one thing so see, very seriously don't depend on ai every time 
you can depend on AI to reduce the extra time that is taking typing work, but not to decide a career objective for you, not to decide a skill set for you, not to decide an experience description for you, not to decide your resume, not to make complete resume for you. No, you can take a format, but resume has to be made by you. Trust me or not, you would experience it one day for sure. Even if you say, no Bargo, it is very easy to develop by AI. Yeah, easy, but it will not give a resume for you. It will give resume for so XYZ, somebody who has got 50% qualities of you. AI doesn't know you completely. Based on the prompt that you have given, AI gives you everything, right? So never go by AI. Develop your own resume. For everything, develop on your own. See, how to prepare a resume detailed session. For every aspect, there are going to be detailed sessions coming ahead. We are going to plan all of them. You be the be the part of the family, so you would be definitely benefited out of it. And you can also write to us at placements at the rate of sinohub.com. P can be lowercase, uppercase. It's not case sensitive anyway. Placements at the rate of sinohub.com. You can definitely approach us. Uh, one minute. I'll read a few questions. Uh, Chandrasekharan. Okay, Chandrasekharan, you can write to me. We have to discuss in detail. Because see, when you say company, which company? What is his graduation? What kind of a job he wants? All these things we need to be clear with. Then we can give. Okay. Uh, Gaddam Mahipa already. So my friend got a, pla a placement in training and placement company. Can he consider the offer? Uh, he should try for the job placement. Uh, Manipa, let me ask you one thing. When he says he has got an offer, did he or she give an interview? Was that interview given to the company? Was the offer letter given by the company? Has it been given by the company's email? Has your friend ever visited the company? Does he know where does, uh, does, does he or she know where the company exists? What product they work on? Do they have project or not right now in hand? There are a lot of details to be discussed in it. Mahipal, this is a very crucial thing to be discussed. Please write to me on placements at sinohub.com. We can connect over a call or we can have a meet. So we can discuss about it in detail. And uh, Rendo, I can tell you one thing. Recession has always been there. And it is never there also. It is irrespective. People who strongly get ready for the job, they'll get the job anytime. Yes, an example. We have conducted recruitment drive on 14th October here in T-Hub premises. 1800 students got shortlisted. They have come for the interviews. A lot of them got shortlisted for the further rounds and companies are calling them or conducting the interviews online or offline. Continuously is going on. 170 plus companies have registered. If the recession is going on, why would they register these many people? For the employees. Recession is there. I do agree. But yet, recession is not there for a lot of them out there. They are still working. Now, why am I conducting interviews? Screening test today. If recession is actually hitting very bad, very strong left and right, then why I conducted a screening test for React.js openings today? We are coming out of it. See, recession cannot shut down the entire industry. Recession slowed down the process. Recession brought the packages down to an extent. Recession reduced the number of projects that are coming in. That's all. It did not completely shut down. Now the things are getting better actually speaking. Every industry has ups and downs. Rakesh, ultimately you have to go and work. Yeah, Rakesh. Ultimately they have to go and work. So they need to understand whether the company is there or not. Uh, unique Beats. I'm sorry, referring that way. I don't know your name. Hello, sir. My brother completed Java full stack course in 
Bangalore, but he did not get the job. He passed in 2020. He is there. Any hiring in your company? See, actually, Sinohub uh, hires people, but we have to an extent have hired people. We have no technical openings uh, very much now. But anyway, you can write to me. Uh, what's the name? Unique Beats. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Uh, you can write to us. One thing. Another thing. Uh, we definitely connect technical aspirants with the organizations, people who are looking for employees and people who are looking for the jobs. We are connecting both of them. We are a strong placement platform. Technically, for technical people, especially we are a strong place, placement platform. We, but we screen the candidates first. We want to understand if the candidate is good enough to give to the company so that company will not feel bad about us. We'll screen the candidate and then we process further. Just uh, you can actually write to me at placements at sinohub.com or in YouTube also you can mention your contact details or email. I'll help uh, you. Uh, I'll anyone, my, any of my team members are going to connect you for sure. Mahipal, if he or she got, okay, he, he got the college placement when you say, when was the placement done? How long it's been? I'll tell you. Oh, thousands of my students, actually speaking, not hundreds, thousands of my students have got placements from Infosys Wipro. Couple of them related to Wipro, they have got offer letter, but they spent two years on bench. They got the salary, but no work. After two years, now they are jobless. They have no skill. They have no salary now. For two years earnings, what they have got? Now they are learning. They want to get a job. That's one situation. Infosys never responded. And one, sec one hiring that is done by another company, they have uh, called the candidates and they said they only can give 50% of the salary. Can you work? Like that. We need to understand. We need to follow up with the company. We actually can write back to the company. Mahipal, actually we can discuss in detail about it. Write back to us. I mean, write to us at placements at sinohub.com, that's going to be helpful for us. And Rendo, I'm in confusion, sir. I want to know about recession because if it is still going on, I want to go with higher studies. Okay. Rindu, it's, uh, Rindu, it's better we need to talk because I'll tell you one thing. What do you mean higher education? Two years of some course? That, will that ensure you the job? No. Right? Now, why don't let me ask this question. Then why don't you invest that time and the kind of amount of the money that you are going to invest into that particular post -grad, any higher education or something? Learn something that is going to give you the job, right? See, recession, uh, the answer is that the situation is ambiguous. The answer was also situation ambiguous when I said recession is always there recession is never there you nobody understands it confuses everybody but what I'm telling to trying to tell you there from the day one people started talking there is recession till today we have been placing someone or the other we have been finding jobs to some or the other some student or the other okay recession is not troubling everybody few people who cannot get ready strong enough to get the job they are troubled by the recession not everybody trust me not everybody okay so it's better you get ready for a job invest your time invest the amount of money maybe 50 percent of that money that you need to invest into your higher education save it invest into your technical education that can make you ready for the job okay that would be my sincere advice. Uh, Vignesh, so when we go to interview, what company people will look first? Primarily, they look about what sort of a thinking ability you have. Your competition thinking. When I say arithmetic, reasoning, logical. And your technical skills. And then your attitude. Attitude is also very important because companies strongly believe in one thing. Skill can be learned but not attitude. So, 
if you become strong technically what happens you know when you join a group of people who are strongly intended to learn and become professionals a lot of attitude shift also happens automatically you join the right set of people you keep practicing with right set of people you keep taking the tests with them you keep giving mock interviews with them when there are a lot of mock interviews what happens see uh, rohit is here he knows it how many times we trouble people about mock interview for every module there is a mock interview second module you completed for first module second module one more mock interview see we want to give feedback on every single aspect so you get ready yourself stronger and better for the industry that's how what happens whatever the company looks for if you have correct guidance if you have correct team that is helping you to get ready professional you will definitely get ready for a job whatever the company is looking for you'll get ready for it trust me okay this seems to be the last question that we have for the day if you have any questions you can definitely ask me or you can also write at placements at sinohub.com so we can get back to you uh rakesh so we had a small conversation one minute there's some uh, we had a small conversation about front end internship i shared the resume but i did not get any response from you uh rakesh are you so sure you shared it on placements at the at sinohub.com uh if there is no response from my end aren't i'm extremely sorry about it dear please can you don't write a new mail please resend the same mail please forward the same mail to same email address i'll ensure uh, tomorrow i'm working tomorrow i'll get back to you anyway you must have got your resume on the resume uh, your contact number on the resume right i'll call you back for sure rindu has a question thank you very much for your answers sir your session has been very helpful to me with uh, my career my actual name is hanumant okay raghav this is an anime character okay now definitely i have to hanumant uh, raghavendra i definitely have to introduce you to one of my team members the youngest team member of sino hub uh, he is also an anime guy and our hr also is an anime girl like they they got connected they made a very strong bond after meeting each other uh, like he now calls her every day akka akka after no he knows that she is also an anime favorite person i definitely have to introduce i i'm sure you will definitely enjoy their company so whatsapp okay my phone is with me right away you can send it once again please anyway it is in do not disturb mode now i can look in it if it is whatsapp i can talk to you uh i can talk to you right away in fact right after the session thank you rakesh for the thanks yes now if there are any other questions we can take for another 2 minutes and then we can call it a day and do not mind uh, do not think that the session ends and the connects between us end immediately become the family of sino hub just just it's it's a uh, one step that you need to take towards it just subscribe this channel so we are always there just in a message reach or a call reach and an email to us is a simple process placements at the rate of sino hub.com uh see i tell you these days uh, we we are replying to emails which we don't understand also so to understand better so don't worry you write german Jap german Jap japanese also in the emails we are going to reply back to you uh there is one more question vignesh sir i am a degree final year can i uh can i send you want to send your resume definitely you can send your resume to me and when you send your resume when you send your resume in a mail to me also mention what career you want to make if you want to make uh, if you want to become a software engineer now which software engineer you want to be based on that possibly immediately we can uh, talk to you and help you to understand how it goes how you can make your career easy better and stronger in that particular field what you what what you need to work on how what you need to improve in you add more skills into you we can give you a clear guidance on it so you are uh, you are in the final year now it's right time i appreciate you 
you uh, took part of the session at the same time you want to look into your resume you want to relook into your resume and you want to work on that i really appreciate you for that now this is right time to get ready by the time you have your certificate in hand you can also have offer letter in hand simultaneously thank you rohit thank you uh, sardar uh hanumant raghavendra my name is bhargav you remember me by sino hub when you refer sino hub uh, uh, any family member in the sino hub can help you simultaneously uh, you know equally at the same time they can connect you to anybody that is required bhargav sino hub remember that neha sir this is only for recent skills or else other skills react skills today's test we have conducted is only for react not a uh, react react is a part of the software development we have front end back end we have a lot more skills that you can actually get onto the platform and you can learn and you can make your career so stronger and we are also looking forward to introduce more and more so we are going to meet all the industry needs sometimes we have to sell tell my students are uh, like i have no students with that expertise when companies approach us Uh, we don't want to give that answer to the companies we are getting ready soon with a lot more other skill sets as well it's today's recruitment is only specifically for react neha but we are not a react uh, company we are we are beyond react we have a lot of other software aspects that you can learn from us and make your stronger career sir dasa can you suggest a few cyber security courses to learn mm, probably you would need to write to me in this regard so we can have a detailed talk about it i'll have to prepare myself also on it i know a person who can connect whom i can connect to you he has a lot of connects related to cyber security let's i just want to understand why see when i said uh, when i was trying to ask you with this particular slide which room you want to enter i want you to understand i want all of you to have a clear decision you enter room b not any other room which has got a lot of demand lot of people keep going into it but yet there is space in it there is scope in it to grow that kind of career that's why i just wanted to understand why uh, one specific uh, career so we can talk about it we can connect to different other people also it's not going to be a challenge yeah thank you hanumant now with this yeah with this let's call it a day hope it was helpful and it's my immense pleasure to be part of the session and to help you with all the question and answers at the same time uh, i am happy that you found it useful i could read couple of the messages and remember making a career is not a very difficult task remember that and sino hub is there with you always to make your career journey so easy and successful one there is one last question sir the i'm very much interested and want to learn about cyber security courses without proper guidance i am lacking behind definitely write to us we are there definitely write to us sada we can definitely help you with that okay now i think let's call it a day and let us reassemble whenever that is possible and reassemble you don't need to look for for a session like this you can also reach out to us directly placements at sinohub.com uh, become the family member of sinohub youtube channel so you can write here also as a comment so we're going to get back to you sure thank you all signing off have a nice time everyone good night enjoy the weekend